New this morning, I spoke to Purdue President Mitch Daniels and two Purdue students to find out how things are going on campus. Yeah, I feel comfortable. I really do feel safe. A majority of my classes are in person. Hannah Ortman and Taylor Johnson are both Purdue University students who say they feel safe. Johnson believes a Protect Purdue pledge seems to be working. I, mean, I go around, I see students always wearing their mask, and um, everybody's trying to social distance, so I think it's going pretty good. Ortman says she thinks Purdue is doing better than other universities. I just think that everyone involved with the Protect Purdue pledge and the plan did a really good job with it, and yeah, I mean, students I feel like are safe. Purdue President Mitch Daniel says there's a reason behind the university's success during the pandemic. I'm asked a lot, why do we seem to be doing better than others? And I think the answer is we started earlier uh, recognizing how difficult and complicated this would be. Daniel says he's proud of the cooperation from students, faculty, and staff. I just want to praise uh, the, our faculty. Uh, really, every element of our campus has, to, has been a part of this, and of course our students who I think uh, have been exemplary. Daniels would also like to praise the cooperation from local officials during this situation. We've really just had two incidents, and I know there's a lot of other uh, schools uh, that I talk to that would love to trade places with that record. As News 18 previously reported, 14 students were suspended last week, as well as 36 students suspended in August for not following the Protect Purdue pledge. Daniel says the university has held strong with their requirements. Any one of these could be a real problem, and so we um, have, have acted uh, with, with firmness in each case. While students are continuing to finish the fall semester, the university is preparing for the spring. Amended a calendar for spring that looks a lot like uh, the fall calendar, and uh, we're we're thinking ahead now to the kind of testing, um, maybe using some new and uh, technologies uh, that are even uh, quicker, more convenient, and uh, maybe more affordable. News 18 is continuing to monitor Purdue's campus during the COVID-19 pandemic. Numbers are updated daily and later this morning we will have a link to Purdue University's dashboard on our website. That's WLFI.com.